I would love to sit here and tell you that my 20 kg weight loss journey was just pure hard work, but that is not true. So if I go back all the way to back when I was, I feel like in the fittest part of my life before I got sick, I was gym every day, eating on the pedal to the metal 24 seven. And I felt like I looked amazing. Um, but as soon as I got sick, I, a quite short example, I was at 96 kg of just, I felt like pure muscle. Lost it all, got down to about 74 kg. And then I put it all back on and I went all the way up to about 105. And then now where I sit today is 87, but the lowest point I got was 80. So I'm here to tell you guys how I got there. So basically when I was at that peak 105 kg, I was on this tablet called Prednisone. It was a steroid that literally kept me alive. It was um, helping with my stomach problems that I was having. I had gut GPHD, so it pretty much stopped my stomach from me going to the toilet pretty much for every five minutes and from taking the pain away. No, it wasn't a steroid to put on muscle. Um, so you, if you ever see people with like puffy faces, like young kids, anything like that, prednisone is what causes that. So yes, that tablet may, like I was saying 250 milligrams for maybe every day for a whole month. That is a hell of a lot to be pumping into your system all day. But then I got slowly weed off of it and that's when my weight loss started to come. Okay, as soon as I dropped down to about, I think five milligrams, I had lost probably about five kilograms by that point. And then whenever, I, when I got totally off prednisone, I lost about like another five. So I lost 10 kilograms purely from going off the tablet that I was on. Now, was that other 10 kg pure hard work? Yes, it. I had to bust my ass. I did cardio every single day. I ate healthy, but it's something for you all to sort of understand and when you watch people's transformations, just don't take it just with like a grain of salt and be like point A, point B sort of thing. It's all, it's like point A, B, C, D, like all the way through to Z to literally have that end result for your body transformation. It's not as simple as some people make it out to seem. And it's not all that they say it is. I'm here because I want to tell you guys the truth of my journey that the 20 kg I lost, 10 kilograms of it was me coming off of a supplement that kept me alive through my cancer treatment. All right? Again, blessed that I lost like 10 kg because I wasn't happy there. But still, that 10 kg that I lost there was purely for me coming off of a tablet. Okay? I could sit here and say, now the 20 kg was me just eating healthy and training hard. No, I lost 10 kg by doing that in a six month period. But the year and a half before that, I lost 10 kg from a supplement. Okay, I just want you guys to think about that and take that into consideration whenever you're thinking about this stuff. Again, I know this is a sit down video again, but I just want you guys to sort of understand that you see all these transformations and not what they seem. Okay, some of them are, some of them are. I'm not saying that all transformations are just absolutely just false just remember that your body will react differently to certain workouts certain diets that you research up on or even if a plan that you get from your dietitian okay you have to understand that your body will adjust and your body adjusts differently to others i could give the exact same diet plan i went on when i did my cut to somebody else and they would not have the same results they might but they highly probably won't. You would have to change something within the diet to suit their body, their DNA, okay? Everybody has a different process. Just I want you all to understand that, okay? I hope you all enjoyed this information type of video. And if you enjoy this content, make sure you leave a like for me and hit that subscribe button just to let, make sure that you let me know that you're enjoying this content. All right, guys, I'll see you all next time.